Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF radio channel and today we're gonna have a little talk about the 2 meter amateur radio band. Now the 2 meter amateur radio band is of all the uh, VHF UHF band probably the most popular and it's a, a great band especially for newbies, people that uh, just had their first scanners want to learn more, want to learn about radio communications. I think the 2 meter amateur radio band is a cool band to listen to. Um, for most scanners, the interesting part of the amateur radio band will probably more be more interesting from 145 to 148 megahertz, where lots of FM repeaters and uh, amateur radio stations are mostly in FM on these frequencies. So for most scanners, that will be the best part. If you have a communications receiver like this one, uh, then starting at 144, you got some stuff that you can listen to. Um, Tom, you know, it's not an official rule, but generally what you'll have is below 145, you'll have most of the time um, things like uh, upper sideband signals, CW signals, you'll also have some uh, digital modes and they tend to stay between 144 and 145 megahertz on that band. So uh, this is mostly where, for example, if I want to tune on my radio um, USB, find USB signals, usually they tend to be around 144.200 so I'll put it in upper sideband here and listen to signals in upper sideband uh, at this time. So, um, I'll put this flush open. So this would be where I'd hear usually signals and the sideband mode. It's not often used, but I've heard regularly some uh, stations there, so, uh, and there are even some nets on uh, 144.240, 250. Uh, lots of digital modes, like I said also, so uh, you'll have here at 144.390, I have packet, this, this is what you hear, packet, this is a re packet repeater on 144.390, so this is a digital mode. And so you can hear these also. You can decode these, by the way, with a computer and a sound card using uh, some uh, software to uh, decode these. Um, so you can try it out. I, I know uh, MixW, M-I-X-W, is one of this, uh, the uh, software that can decode packet. And that's the mishmash of signals. Starting at 145, then up to 148, you have lots of uh, FM repeaters that are on air, so uh, sometimes you might hear signals around there. Uh, one little part where it's interesting, especially if you've got a um, communications receiver, uh, around 145.800 up to 146, there's a small spot there that's um, left for amateur radio satellites. Uh, for example, I listen to uh, VO52, which is um, a great um, amateur radio satellite that transmits um, amateur radios and single sideband um, on about 145.850 up to 145.950. So there's a little spot of amateur satellites here. And also there's uplink to amateur satellites that happen sometimes on those frequencies. And uh, so for most radio scanner buffs, what would be interesting is probably the uh, bands starting about 145 to 148 with lots of amateur stations and amateur repeaters. It's uh, pretty quiet right now as you see, but uh, some evenings and some uh, in the weekends, there is often a lot of activity on these bands. So lots of uh, amateur radio repeaters are on air there. So um, one of the best ways to actually enjoy this band is just program 144 to 148 on your scanner and uh, leave it scanning by itself on the bands. 
so that uh, if there's a signal or something that you can hear it's gonna just show up automatically on the scanner uh, propagation wise there are two types of interesting propagation that happen on this band uh, one is line of sight the regular line of sight propagation so basically uh, signals will be heard you know up to maybe 50 60 miles and what's nice about the uh, two meter two meter amateur radio band is that you can hear station quite far thanks to repeaters what are repeaters uh, repeaters are basically uh, a, a receiver and an antenna that is somewhere usually very often on the top of a very big building or on the top of a mountain and basically stations amateur stations will talk through on a frequency and you have the output of the repeater that's on another frequency and that's where you hear all the conversations and you hear them far away thanks to the power and also to the fact that most repeaters are very high so uh, repeaters are really really interesting and uh, actually having a little map or a little book of your local repeaters or repeaters around your area is also very useful you can search the web also for repeaters so just put two meter amateur repeaters and uh, you can put your uh, the city or the county or uh, state you're in and you'll have uh, probably lots of uh, listings of repeaters and uh, repeaters are fun because they help uh, you know low power amateur stations like with handy talkies or uh, mobile stations uh, get in and make you know good distances thanks to uh, this repeating of the signal uh, with the repeaters so uh, there's another mode of propagation that's interesting and it's called inversion on two meter it's very very often apparent and especially if you have um, a big change in temperature so for example one day it's very warm and the next day it's very cold well when these changes happen very often the layers of the atmosphere have inversions in temperature and actually that traps VHF signals on the two meter band and makes them go much much farther away so you can hear stations sometimes up to 100 200 kilometers and um, I've heard often stations actually getting into local repeaters from very far away one day because of inversions it kind of extends the uh, frequency the the transmission um, it's very very interesting so if you have a weather system going through and it's you know you go from very cold to very warm or very warm to very cold as like a cold front or a warm front tune around and um, look at the signals that you can hear because you could be very surprised at how far stations can be heard on the two meter amateur radio band when there's inversions so uh, frequency range it's not all of the world that has 144 to 148 some people I believe are stuck from 146 to 148 uh, depends on where you live the country you live uh, in North America it's 144 to 148 full full band is there and um, it's an interesting band that you should actually tune around and try to receive signals um, it's I think it's uh, a cool band to learn how to uh, you know tune around and scan on the uh, frequencies by the way if you don't know how to program a uh, frequency range to scan from one part and the other um, I'll show you a different scanners the way I do it and maybe it's gonna give you a little idea on your own scanner how to do it. but refer to your um, scanner manual or your receiver manual it's the best thing you can do actually so uh, this is uh, this was one of the signal on one of the repeaters 190 as a little repeater here a little out of the town so um, that's basically it Scan around and uh, search for signals of the 2 meter amateur radio band. There's a good chance you'll hear signals on that band. Um, it's usually very, very used. Um, unfortunately, I'm doing this video, it's very quiet. It looks like a quiet band, but actually it's uh, one of those very active bands. So, uh, if you enjoy our videos, well, subscribe to your channel. And uh, we'll have lots and lots of videos on uh, radio listening on VHF, UHF frequencies. 
and learning how to uh, you know scan and do everything with these radios on the higher frequencies. So thanks for watching, 783.